So, the producers said that you can't get a cheaper, funner lens than a Canon 50mm f1.8 2. And we said, BOOKS! So, they gave us 40 US dollars in gay pal credit and then asked us to get a lens each to see if we can better this in terms of cheapness and funness. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is what we did. But why is the red is different red? This is better than that. You got yours from a shitty factory in China. This is from Italy. No. <laughs> there he is. Go on. Yeah. Take your time. Uh, okay, so what have you I'm got? I'm not late, I'm on time. You, you're early. No, no. It's early. Yeah. Always early, always on time. So uh, what have you got? You've got an Olympus. I've got EP1. No, that's, that's, cheap. that's not a cheap lens. This what, lip one? Balm? This is a... Pinhole, pinhole lens for Michael Fover. It's what? called, it's called Pin Y. Yeah, but it looks like one of those kind of uh, things for ointment. You know, you get some cream and rub it. Uh, even the case is uh, good quality. Good quality yeah. case. How much so. did that cost? Uh, Forty US dollars. Forty? This cost me twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five US dollars. Oh, this is a whole goes fixed on. Uh, this is the five D. That's the most ridiculous thing. Yeah, but it's, it's cheap. Seen. It's cheap. Twenty five US dollars. Besides, besides Sony, forty dollars. Forty dollars for that. You just wait. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. You. Okay. Any time. All right. All okay. Right. This is Lock. it. Lock. Lock. That's a body cap. <laughs> That's you a know? body cap with a hole in it. You don't. You don't just a book by its cover. Oh, it's not a book. What's that W for? Well, actually, I know what it stands for. The, that's, that's their company. Wonderlust. It sounds like a self-pleasuring toy. Did you buy that online thinking that it's a self-pleasuring toy? No. And you thought, damn, that no. has a bloody body cap with a hole in it. I want one of those vibrating things. Uh, whatever. They said that they, the pinhole is made from some, some uh, metal itching, highly pre, uh, a a precision. Needle. A needle. They use this process the same as making a semiconductor, so it's very high what? technology. Or using a human. It's made from some durable material called plastic. Polycarbonate plastic. char seal, something like that. Plastic. Oh, wow! Yeah, wow. Debut! Wang, um, wang. <laughs> <laughs> no, you! No, you! After a very well fought argument, it's time to see my bargain lens. So what you've got? Uh, I've got this, the Holger lens. You make it yourself, it, isn't it? No, it's it's it so didn't. bad, it's like you make it yourself. Look, it comes with a Canon EOS man. Subsonic. Focus, I can't get it on. <laughs> stop, oh, stop. Oh. Hang on a minute. That's how good it is. Shit. Oh. Right, take two. Take two, okay. Yeah, yeah, so this is a Canon mount Holger lens. Isn't it great? Subsonic focusing system using your fingers made of a super light material called plastic. lighter than metal. Yeah, yours plastic too. Mine has actually got lens elements in it, and you can you can uh, you can twist. It's got a focusing aid here. It's got little pictures here. You see? What 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 is that? Uh, you're single man. You get married, and then a uh, family tree, and then you die and in bury in the mountain. Check that out. Quality control past. Oh yeah! It's so 80s. Let's go. Whatever. Oh, you got that, mate. Save the best to last, as they say. So let's see Locke's cheap, cheap lens first. Okay, so because it's a pinhole, so it's very dark. So uh, since I never used pinhole before, so I better set it to P mode. Get some practice first. And uh, auto ISO. Maybe take a photo of something. I can't actually see. Um, just take a shot first, see what it's like. I think the middle wing is a bit confused. Let me put uh, exposure compensation. It is very dark. 1 over 10, 1 over 2, half a second. 1 second of uh, shutter speed and the uh, ISO Already 1,000. <laughs> oh, maybe I really have to take photo in a 
just like sunlight. So, like a moth, Locke headed towards the light. Alright, so I know the build quality of this is not that great. I mean, it's made in Hong Kong and QC passed my ass. It's just a cheap bit of plastic cobbled together. But there's an interesting thing here. Instead of the lens helmet, it's got this kind of pinhole. It's like a pinhole with little smaller ones here. Now, you see, this is actually for 120 film, this lens. So what they're actually doing is trying to cause that vignetting that you get from the Holger. Because this is only 35 millimeter format. But one detriment to those little holes is that it makes it very dark. This is rubbish. Back to the viewfinder. Is it better this way? And of course the focusing system is ridiculous. I mean, head and shoulders, family, group. How are you supposed to understand that? But of course, when you look through the viewfinder and when you can actually see something, it doesn't really make that big a difference because at F8, most of the things are in focus. Or out of focus, because most of it's soft and blurry. On the other side of the market, Locke had got his priorities right. There's a bit of light I've produced. Whoa, look at that! Pinball machine! Japanese pinball machine, the whole pinball machine here. Well, I've used this little bit of sunlight here to isolate the subject. I just sit here and slap. It took a little while, then Locke managed to get around the limitation of his broken body cap by stalking the light. But the slow shutter speeds involved sometimes mean you need to steady your camera. The thing is, it's quite restrictive that you can kind of only shoot in the bright sunlight. Or... I'm not used to it yet. Let's see. You probably think, is it that dark? I mean, according to the website, the F number is line T6 to 128. The center is more bright, the, the, the surrounding is darker, so it's 96 to 128. And there's something in the website, it's quite funny, like, looking through the pin Y, the name, looking through the pin Y for the first time is impossible not to smile. Yeah, that's exactly what I did because I like what? I can't see anything. And he said it's the widest focal length ever over for a digital camera. And it's apparently equivalent to 22 millimeters. Of course, part of the fun of the whole goal is that you'd shoot with your 120 film and you don't know what you're going to get. Like Forrest Gump. But this you do, because it's digital and you can see. There is something quite unique about the Holger lens though. And I don't mean it's crud. It can really produce some images of serious intriguingness. Oh, nobody's coming this way. Three sex. No, she doesn't want any. Alright, so how is that for you then? I don't know, it's <laughs> dark. I have to be honest with you, it's just dark. Well, the aperture must be really small on that. This is F8, that must be bloody ridiculous. Yeah, it must be easier that for you then. Alright, we'll uh, give it a go then. I'm going to try. Yeah, why not? But yeah. just just be careful. Don't, don't, don't scratch it. Don't why? drop it. It's mine. Why? I don't drop it. It's mine. Oh, you, use this strap. Use, use this strap. No. Yes, please. No, please, no, use this I'm not a dog. No, 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 use it. No. Yeah, so we camera wife swap to evaluate a bit more. Wow, yellow. Orange, actually. Well, as it's much, as it's much brighter than the pinhole, maybe I can set the lower shutter speed and have a steel subject 
have everything moving at the back so to isolate the subject because you don't have shallow depth of view so such a speed Ridiculous ISO 1600 and I still can't get decent shutter speed 6400 I've got tripods. But I suppose some people enjoy it. I can understand why people would enjoy it. It makes you think about the shot. So yeah, everything's in focus apparently. Which is good because the AP1 doesn't focus very well. It's a shame the Lambie's not here, I can uh, use a head as a tripod. We'll be honest, both of us didn't really have lots of fun with the pinhole lens. It's a lens for very special occasions, and I don't mean your wedding anniversary. It's not one of your use everyday lenses, but we think you can use the Holger lens every day. We like the whole process of making a pinhole lens ourselves, so the pin wide isn't for us. But for those who aren't sure about making one themselves, this is worth a look. I think the Holger lens, for the price of 25 US dollars, is an absolute hoot. I'm jealous of cats, because they see in black and white only. We see in colour, and we have to look at that. Oh, almighty.